Imagine being one of the best monster hunters in the world, having enhanced strength, speed, and stamina, as well as being gifted with the use of magic. Having fought and killed countless numbers of beasts and demons, and being known for your sheer focus and determination. That's what it's like to play as Geralt of Rivia in the Witcher series. As Geralt, you have the ability to vanquish any monster or human you come across, no matter how ghastly. The game gives you an array of combat of skills to choose from, but for all of that, those still aren't the most impressive skills Geralt has to give. For me, the most important skill to learn from a Witcher is that of meditation. In The Witcher 3, the player can have Geralt meditate to either pass time waiting for a bounty, or to heal. It also looks super cool if you do it in the right spot and you have mods running. But having Geralt meditate is much more interesting once you delve into the world of The Witcher. The world is filled with horrible monsters and people, and it's Geralt's job to kill them for a price, no matter how horrendous or strong. Usually going up against foes that would eat him alive if given the chance, Geralt has to keep his cool and stay focused while on the hunt for a bounty. The idea that the witchers at Kaer Morhen were taught to meditate to calm their nerves and ready themselves for whatever fight might, may come fits even more into the witcher world and not just a better way to have the player wait than having the characters stand in place for 12 hours. There are even moments in game where Geralt will meditate while hiding and wait for a bounty to show up and then proceed to cut its head off. That's why the next skill on my list to learn is how to meditate like a witcher. Let's get started. I know what some of you are thinking. Meditation is a lifelong pursuit and you can't just master it overnight. Well, you're right, it is, and I can't. That's why I'm not going to. No, the aim of this challenge is for me to get more consistent with meditation. You see, I've been meditating on and off for three years now. There would be a time where I'd get the idea in my head to start meditating again, and I'd do it every day for a week or two but then I'd miss a day, and give up completely. And it's not like I didn't see any difference after doing it either. I totally felt more relaxed and clear-minded after I did it. The issue was always consistency. So for this skill, the challenge will be to meditate 10 minutes every day for a month. I don't do anything special when I meditate. I don't chant a mantra or sit in a weird position or focus on opening up all my chakras. Nope, I just sit up straight in my desk chair and focus on only my breathing for 10 minutes. That's it. I, like most people these days, have a terrible time at turning my brain off and allowing it not to get bombarded by stimuli every second of the day. So sitting still and thinking about next to nothing is extremely difficult, but ultimately good for me. Every day of doing meditation was difficult. My average meditation session went something like this. I'd sit down at my desk, contemplate looking through my emails or Reddit, then remind myself to meditate. So I'd take my, my phone and start my timer. I'd start off good, I'd get into a nice breathing pattern, then I'd notice how well I was doing about thinking about nothing at all. Then I realized I was thinking about something and ultimately spiral out into thinking about more and more stuff until my brain sounded something like this. Did I leave the forge on? Who do I need to call today? Is there Maybe a sales meeting now? Did I leave the like Christmas the NSA on? listening to me? Why was season 8 what am I gonna do for the next one again? Can you well is Google Roach listening to me? Why did they keep making me Star Wars sleep last night? Why, is my Why did they call so the whale slow? Moby Dick? I wonder what DMT Would I be able like? to survive a nuclear apocalypse? This happened every time. There wasn't much I could do about it from happening, but as the 30 days went on, I noticed I was getting back on track much faster, and the 10 minutes that felt like an eternity before was over and done with in a blink of an eye.
While doing this 30 day challenge to get better at meditation, I started to think about what it'd be like to actually be a witcher. Sure, you'd get superpowers, the ability to use magic, as well as have two kick-ass swords on your back. But being a witcher must be one of the most stressful jobs ever. Everyone hates you, you're by yourself most of the time, and there's a high chance of death for every bounty you take. And as the saying goes, no witcher ever died in his bed. No wonder Geralt meditates so much. He'd get eaten or killed by any one of his bounties if he didn't have his head in the game 100% of the time. After the 30 days was all done, I can confidently say I'm nowhere close to Witcher level meditation, or being able to calmly slice the head off a basilisk. But I am slightly better at meditation and mindfulness, and my consistency with it is through the roof. So while I won't be slaying vampires or seducing sorceresses anytime soon, being able to meditate will definitely come in handy for life's problems when they arise. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely means a lot to me that you guys take the time to watch these. So, as always, I hope you have a good rest of your day.